Hey guys, J77 here. Uh, I'm gonna get right straight to it. Um, some news on Ghostbusters 3. Um, according to a lot of reports, that they're looking. It looks like it's gonna be a go. Finally, um, from what I understand, um, Dan Aykroyd has been talking to the, um, to a lot of talk shows, um, specifically um, about the plans for the Ghostbusters 3. Um, and it looks like they're gonna be uh, shooting in somewhere around mid to mid 2012. Um, there is one thing that bothers me about this, um, and it's not really much of the movie being shot at. Um, there a lot of people, there's a lot of fans out there who want Ghostbusters 3 out. Me being one of them, um, I'm very iffy on the Ghostbusters um, thing. It's not because I don't want to see it, see it. I just want to know how they're going to go about doing it. Um, let me be the first to say, if this is true... Then they, then Dan Aykroyd and those who are in charge of this production, are actually better off just doing a re doing a reboot or doing it with a new generation. Um, to have all the Ghostbusters, with exception of one, um, I just can't picture it. I don't see it. Um, and killing off that character is just basically an insult towards the whole franchise. And I'm talking about Bill Murray, of course. Um, there is speculation that the Ghostbusters three will be done with. Or without him, um, as you know, he played one of the the heart and soul of the Ghostbusters um, in the movies. Um, and you know, Peter Vakeman to me was one of, one of my favorite characters. He was funny. Then came Dan Aykroyd, Ernie Hudson. Um, then um, down the road, um, but for for that character not to be in that film and have everybody else accept that character. It, that's not Ghostbusters to me. You gotta have Peter Rickman. You gotta have Egon Span. You gotta have Ray Stance. Um, you gotta have all these guys there. Um, and I, I don't know. <laughs> I mean, I, I can understand if Bill Murray don't want to come back. I mean, age is definitely one of them. Um, he has done so much um, serious roles, um, so much roles that to even to my surprise he doesn't get enough credit for um, one of them particularly is Rushmore um, Lost in Translation is another another film I, I think that he really really uh, really has spawned away to a certain degree in terms of comp in terms of comedy and really done um, more serious roles more recognizable roles and he's been getting high praise for these roles there are times he slips back into the comedy mode um, I actually Liked at him as the voice of Garfield. Um, he was actually, he was actually damn good in Charlie's Angels. He was actually, he actually literally stole the show in some scenes in Charlie's Angels. Um, so he does, he can go back to comedy um, if the if the script fits him. I don't know if he wants to come back into Ghostbusters three, and if that's the case, you know. I just think they should start from scratch or just basically just do a new generation of Ghostbusters. Why is that so hard to do? If, you, if you're really that intense to continue the Ghostbusters series, just um, do a new generation of Ghostbusters. I mean, it has been done before. I mean, Extreme Ghostbusters was a pretty okay cartoon. It wasn't perfect, but it was pretty good. I enjoyed watching it. And there's, some, there's a premises between you know, that animation show that you can actually work on. You can actually adapt that to a new, sc to a new scene. Not seeing the role that Bill Murray made famous is it's pretty much, I can't visualize that. I mean, even if they pick another actor to do that role, it's not going to be right. I mean, he cemented himself as, um, as Peter Vegman. There is nobody else that can play that role but him. I mean, I'm, I'm sorry. And like I said, if they plan to kill him off, which may be the only explanation to do, uh, it's going to be a slap in the face to all the diehard fans that have followed this series. So, I'm not with killing off that character. My only best bet is if just, just reboot the series or just continue on with a new generation of Ghostbusters. My, my only guess is, um, my only hint is they do have a script and my, own, and my only feeling is they may just do that. They may just, you know, pass the guard to the newer generation. But I hope they do it right. Like I said, this film to me has been talked about for years, I'm not. I'm talking about years. I heard about this sequel in, in you know, 1995. 
that they wanted to do another um, Ghostbusters. And we're now at 2011. So it's not like this is no news news. They've been talking about this for years. And the only reason why um, they hasn't gone into um, this. Iron Reichman flat out refused to do another one. And he even came on, on some magazines and uh, publicly saying that the Ghostbusters series is dead. Um, Sigourney Reaver even said that she doesn't want to do another one. So there's a lot of things. And Rick Moranis, um, he basically has stayed retired almost like what 12 years now he hasn't made a film the last film i think i ever seen him made was bully that was it um so there's gonna be a lot of situations here where some of the some of the um the cast members um may not return now according to a lot of people they have uh, some characters that's in but if bill murray is not in there i um, mean he's like the heart and soul pretty much for the film i think they just 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 you know, either start over or just do a uh, do a reboot. Um, but um, that's just my opinion. You guys may have something differently. Um, what do you feel about this? Please comment below. And um, until then, I'll talk to you guys later.